Hey everyone, my name is Adi. In this tutorial, we will paint this strawberry. I am going to use gouache in a similar way to acrylic and oil colors. I cover all the paper, creating a background. When choosing a dark background, it might be better not to cover everything in a dark color. We talked about it in the video about the metal and the one about the fabric. If you want to see an example for a painting in gouache without a painted background, you can check out the video about the bunny. After the paint dries, I mark where I want the strawberry to be. I am using the gouache paint, but if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can use pencil instead. I wanted to leave some space between the bottom of the strawberry and the end of the paper. The most important thing is not to put it exactly in the center. I'm creating a base layer with yellow, orange and red. Dividing it into main colors in this state will make it easier later on. Depending on the darkness level of the background and the opacity of the paint, more than one layer might be needed. The transition between the colors should be smooth. I'm making the color less dark than what I want the final result to be, so I added white to the red. In most cases, I think it's better to make the painting darker over time than to start with a dark color and to turn it lighter. I don't add any details in this stage. I also don't paint the leaves that cover the strawberry yet. It's better to paint the things that are hidden first and to paint what covers them later. Let the paint dry. I locate these highlights, the areas that are the shiniest. When there are a lot of details, like in this strawberry, it can look complicated and scary to paint. The best thing to do is to start from something that is easy to distinguish from the rest. The white hoops aren't always complete and the width of the lines can change. I'm using a thin brush and I dip just the tip. If you feel like the white doesn't look white enough, then maybe you have too much water in the paint. It might be better to use a fresh white paint than to use a paint that has dried and you added water to it. I add red areas for the sockets. I'm focusing on the upper part. I think it's easier to look at one section at a time. I spend more time looking at the strawberry than looking at my painting. If the strawberry go bad before you finish the painting, you can just replace it with another one. The important thing is to capture the essence, the characteristics of the strawberry. No one will know how many strawberries you looked at, or exactly how they looked like. The seeds don't have to be exactly in the center of the socket. I start to mark their locations with yellow. I 
I start to add a darker red to the socket, to the places that are darker in shadow. The seeds have shadows too. Because they are surrounded with red, the shadow can look like a dark red. It can be hard to tell where the shadow of the socket ends and where the shadow of the seed starts. It can be sometimes darker near the white highlights. In this stage the sockets and their surroundings look more like a polka dots pattern than a strawberry. The areas around the sockets has light and shadow too. So I added red paint over it, but I kept some areas that are lighter in the color of the base layer. Some of the sockets are darker than the rest. Depending on the direction of the light, the highlights can be in different places in relation to the socket. You can sometimes see white inside a socket. The seeds can have a white dot on them too.
I move on to the area that is more orange and yellow. I start with placing the seeds. When the color of the socket is lighter than the surrounding, then we need to make the surrounding darker. When painting around the sockets, I look at the transition of the color. It goes from red to orange to yellow. The shadow that the strawberry cast is darker closer to the strawberry. I use a dark red there. The shadow is in a bright red in the place where there's gap between the strawberry and the shadow. Moving on to the leaves. The green paints that I have look too vibrant. Using them would make the leaves look like they are made of plastic. So I added brown to them to tone down the vividness. For the darker areas, I created a mixture of green and blue. I can see a touch of red in some places. To the shadow I added a bit of brown to make it even darker. I want to suggest that the surface under the strawberry has texture, but without going into too many details. I'm 
makes the shadow darker by adding purple to it. I keep a smooth transition between the strawberry and the shadow. The shadow is climbing to the strawberry. The light comes from the right side, so we can see that the strawberry casts shadow in the opposite direction. The leaves cast shadow on the strawberry. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You can find tutorials in my channel in a variety of subjects and media. See you soon. Bye bye.